What's up everybody? This is Lyle No Hippie Barbecue. What I'm going to be making today is going to be some Amish apple fritters. I stumbled across this recipe when I was looking for uh, another recipe. I found this recipe on a website called thegratefulgirlcooks.com. I thought it was simple enough for me to hook up with my rudimentary quasi-baking skills. Anyway, they look good. We're going to try it. Come on in. Take a look at these ingredients. I will be having the amounts of these ingredients in the description below, so we're just going to kind of name off these ingredients. The first thing I need to do is add my lemon juice to my chopped up apple just so it doesn't go brown before we get to working with that. We're going to go ahead and set this aside. Our next ingredients we have sugar, eggs, flour, baking powder, cinnamon, salt, milk, and then for our glaze we have some vanilla extract, a little bit of warm water, and we have some powdered sugar. Anyway, let's get on to our first step. So our first step in this recipe is to get our eggs and our sugar blended together. We're just going to use a little mixer for this and we're going to blend it for about a minute. Okay, now that that's gone a minute, we're going to add our baking powder, our salt, our cinnamon, our milk, and let's see if there's anything else we need in there. Nope, we're good to go. Let's blend. And now that that's blended up, we're going to go ahead and add our flour in. Alright, now that we have all that blended in, what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and add our apples to this. We're just going to fold it in. Alright, this batter looks good to me. I have about an eighth of an inch of canola oil getting heated up to about 375 degrees in the skillet. Once that comes up to temperature, we're going to start dropping these in and making our fritters. Alright, let's go ahead and start adding this batter into our skillet. And I should be able to get about three in here. And we're going to flip these once they start turning golden brown. All right, they're turning golden brown. We're going to go ahead and flip them. Be careful when you're doing this. And should only take about another 30 seconds, maybe a minute. All right, they look golden brown on both sides. We're going to go ahead and remove them. I'm going to set them on a wire rack so they can drain off. And I have some batter left over, but my family's not here yet, so I'm going to go ahead and throw that in the refrigerator and cook that a little bit later. So one thing that I did off camera was I did cook a couple more of these at a lower temperature. 375 late seemed a little bit high for me, so I cooked some at about 325 degrees, so we're going to see how those turn out. Anyway, while they're cooling off, let's go ahead and make this glaze. So we're adding our powdered sugar, our vanilla, and I'm eyeballing it, and our warm water. We're going to give this a stir. And this is about as thick as like an icing would be. And now that we have that, I'm just going to drizzle it on top. You could paint it on top if you wanted. I'm just going to go ahead and drizzle. A 
little more on that one. All right, we are good to go. Let's get this taste test out of the way. Well, you know what? It is so hot, I feel like I'm Amish in here. I've already sweat through one t-shirt, about to sweat through another one. So let's hurry up and get down and do this taste test. Now, I did do two different batches. I did one batch where I cooked at, with the oil at 375 degrees. I did another batch where the oil was a little bit lower. So I'm going to kind of taste the difference between those. So let's go ahead and try the one that was cooked at the higher temperature. That glaze is nice. I think some rum would be good in there. But I don't think Amish people drink rum. I don't know. All right, let's try one that cooked at the lower temperature for a little bit longer. I like the lower temperature one. The apples got cooked down a little bit more. The apples in the one that was at the higher temperature, a little bit more firm. But, uh, you know what, I'm not even going to take another bite of this. One thing that I will do when I make this again, because I will be making this again, is I'll probably cook the apples down just a little bit, just to kind of soften them up a little bit before I put them in the batter. And if you wanted a real easy, like, uh, shortcut on this, canned apples I think would be perfect, almost like an apple pie filling. I don't know, I might try that. Anyway, thanks for stopping by No Hippie Barbecue. I appreciate it. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.